Awesome people out there, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nirupama, and I hope you all are doing great. Well, my previous video was about the cabin crew life, the information you need to have if you aspire to be a cabin crew. And in this video, I'm going to tell you guys how to do your makeup when you go for an interview. Before I started flying, I was not that much into makeup, like, my vanity was limited to casual liner and lip gloss. That is it. So when I went for my interview, I was actually very confused like what to put on my face and I hope I'm not doing it wrong. Basically, I did not want to end up looking like a clown. Now I know how to put the products on my face. I sort of enjoy doing my makeup and I'm not an expert but then yeah, I have an idea that how to go about it. How I can not look like a disaster but uh, can do a pretty good job. So I thought that you know uh, there must be many such girls like me so that is why I've decided to do this video and the look what I'm going to do right now it's very simple it's very basic anybody can do it uh, so yeah without any delay let's get started Firstly I'm going to prime my face with the Color Bar Perfect Max Primer if you want you can use any other primer let me tell you it is very important to prime your face because it is a layer between your makeup and your foundation and your makeup will stay, stay throughout so yeah next i'm going to use the infoliable stay fresh foundation by l'oreal if you want you can use any other foundation whichever you, you like whichever suits your skin well and i'm going to dot it all over my face make sure that you apply it on your neck not to forget to apply it on your neck So I'm going to use my beauty blender and I'm going to dab 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 That's how I blend my foundation, that's how I apply my foundation. This is one technique I just started using it before I never used to use uh, the beauty blender. But then this one I got it from Forever 21 and it's been a month and I'm really liking it. It's very easy to use so you should definitely get one for yourself. Next I'm going to use the Studio Fix by MAC. I'm going to apply it all over my face. If you want, you can use any other compact powder or loose powder, completely up to you, whatever you like. And I have an oily skin, so I'm going to apply it all over my face. But if you have having dry skin, make sure you apply it only on the areas where you see it's going to be greasy or oily. Next I have the Nude Palette by Maybelline and I simply love this palette. I'm going to take the darkest shade, the darkest brown shade from the palette and we'll just fill in my brows. That's what you see me doing here. I'm going to use the same palette for my eyeshadow. Now from the same palette, I'm going to take the golden shade and I'm going to apply it all over my lips. I'm not going to mix any other shade with it or any contouring, nothing like that. I'm just trying to keep it very simple for you guys. So yeah, that's what you see me doing here. So now I'm going to use the Maybelline gel liner and uh, I'm going to make a wing liner with that. You can go ahead and you can apply whatever type, thick liner, thin liner, whatever you like. But just try to keep it very simple. Don't try uh, to be too dramatic with the liner. And if you want, you can go ahead and apply kajal cold on your waterline. I personally don't like it, so that's why I'm going to skip this step. But if you like it, please, if you are a cold lover, go ahead and apply it. And now I'm going to make the same wing liner on my other eye. Next I'm going to apply the Maybelline Mega Plus Volume Express Mascara on my eyelashes. I'm just going to apply a single coat but if you are a mascara person, mascara lover, please go ahead and apply a number of coats. As for your liking. Okay, next I'm going to use the blush by NYX. I simply love this color. It's uh, coral, it's peachy, and it gives uh, that natural glow, that natural color on my cheeks, which I simply love. You can again go ahead and choose your favorite color. 
for my lips i'm going to use the let me 95 red rebel it is an orangish red uh, it's a very pretty shade so uh you can use this one or if you want you can go for any other shade but make sure whatever shade you choose for your lips it's not loud it's very subtle and it makes you look pretty and professional at the same time Firstly, I'm going to do the side parting and then I'm going to take some section of my hair, twist it, add some more hair and then twist it, add some more hair, twist it and some more hair and twist it. Then I'm going to secure it with a zigzag pin. Same I'm going to do on the other side. Take some section of my hair, twist it and again I'm going to secure it with a zigzag pin. Then I'm going to gather all my hair and make a ponytail. I'm going to secure it with the plastic band. Now I'm going to make a braid. And again, I'm going to secure the end part of the braid with a nasty set. Now with that, I'm going to make a bun and I'm going to secure it with a U-pin. And lastly, I'm going to secure my bun with a Jura net. look quick and easy i hope you like it i hope you find it helpful and if you like it please give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon next to the subscribe button so that you will be notified whenever i'll be uploading the next video yes and if you got any suggestion or you want to see more of such videos please 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 drop a comment in the comment section below and that's it i hope to see you until next time take care